One of the survivors of the recent Nansen robbery, where three people lost their lives, was Frank Anania, who is now fighting for his life at Mulago National Rural Hospital. Anania spent nearly three weeks at Nakasa Hospital, where his medical bills shoot to 50 million, which, according to the family members, forced the hospital to stop the medication until they finally agreed to transfer him at Mulago. So we were transferred to, to Mulago, but still they, they need their money. That uh, 40, between 4 and 50 a.m. Good for Iswa and Ania's brother says that Mulago they are required to pay one million per week, which they say they can't afford. The family want the government to come to their rescue. However, the deputy government spokesperson Shabad Bantariza says this call for government to help is misguided. Then we have to buy the drugs, take care of our patient, plus feeding him. Of course, feeding is not feeding normally. Is uh, they are using a certain uh, product for which it goes direct to the body, which it costs 300 per day. It works for 24 hours. The government cannot say let's come out and help this gentleman before the case has been uh, 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 the, the, the culprit has been established or even arrested. So then the one who is culpable, who is responsible for injuring that person, takes responsibility for compensating him. Because we cannot compensate people who have been injured by criminals, it would be like we are helping criminals commit crime and get away with it. So that's not possible. Bantariza's response has been backed by the Uganda Law Society President Simon Peter Chinobe, who says it's not the responsibility of government to pay medical bills of patients under such circumstances. There is no legal mandate for them to pay. Uh, government would have been liable if it acted negligently. In the absence of evidence that they acted negligently, you can't hold them culpable. Shinobe says in the 1995 constitution, there is an aspiration to ensure that Ugandans enjoy free medical services, which he says it has not been achieved. I think this is the time to start re-evaluating that objective and not only to evaluate but also uh, actuate it and make it, uh, uh, you know, a right under our constitution. However, human rights lawyer Adislas Rakafuzi says government is mandated to protect all Ugandans and their property. Therefore, government must pay the victims in the Nansen Rubal shooting. The current position of our constitution under Article 20 of the constitution, the government is supposed to protect all of us. And when it fails to protect us, then liability falls. Like, uh, for example, recently the government had to pay some compensation for some people who suffered atrocities by Kony. Council Rockerfield has never run any government. He does not know what is involved. He's, a, he's a, a human rights activist, and that's how he earns his income. He benefits from that ac activism. But that activism is not real in terms of what the government is supposed to do legally, but also what it can do economically or financially for its citizens. For Chinobe, government can only intervene in the matter on goodwill, but Rockafuz says government can be sued if they refuse to pay the medical bills. Ivan Chimurichigozi, NTV.